the, the Korean qualifiers. So I think that, um, we, that we might see a Fire Mage from there at, at the Chinese finals. We also, you know, there's, there's some very fine, very famous uh, Moonkins and Fire Mages in, in U.S., like Serenus and Volcazar. Uh, they're a very good Fire Mage Moonkin team. So we may see some of those uh, from the other regions. But anyway, it hasn't shown up here. But we are going to be getting it going. And uh, we are going to be following Barbaros out here once again. Uh, he will be probably just trying to go uh, for, obviously, the Ret or the Warrior. Yeah, he's just going to hang out behind the pillar for now, wait until his teammates are ready to just charge in there. Dreams is going to be stacking his Ancestral Vigor on himself, as it will just last as long as he's able to keep some, some form of healing on himself. It's going to stay up. So Barbaros does charge back there. He's going to swap over onto Kolar, though. Kolar is just going to be hitting Brain Deadly. Brain Deadly doing a great job of kiting away from them. Freedom out onto the Red Paladin. He did put it on himself. I would have preferred for him to put it on the Warrior. And there's actually sacrifice he's on that, on that Warrior. That's why he couldn't use the Freedom. He didn't want to overwrite that. Uh, and he's thrown down. And he is going to be taking a lot of damage here. Down to 40%. He's going to have to Blade Storm out of there. Uh, we can see that Brain Deadly just trying to chase after I'm trying to keep uh, the damage going on him. Uh, he's going to heroic leap away. The damage is continuing on to Kolar, who's down at 30% HP. Actually going to have to um, just get out of there but because Brain Deadly is now the target. And we can see that Brain Deadly going to be forced to deterrence there as Kolar does get topped off. Yeah, he's going to try and pull away. Still just trying to kite all day against these guys. They're going to swap over onto Barbara, so already at 50%. Earthshield is on him. Riptide as well, so he's not going to be too much in trouble. Collard is still being hit by this Hunter Warrior team. An imp strand, hamstring on him. A full trap on the Dreams. In, was that a trinket? I, I'm not yeah, entirely I think sure. Your, uh, Dreams did have to trinket that. Uh, Collard just taking way too much damage. And Glyptic's going to go into the repent. They need to get some counter pressure going here. Uh, but I'm not sure if they can because Collard's going to be put into a full throwdown down to 20%. He's going to be bopped off there uh, by that Rep Pal and Gmos. And that was a good bop. He had to do that for sure. Uh, we can see a Thunderclap and Demo Shout both going out there uh, from Barbarous, who's just trying to shut down the damage on Brain Deadly, who's at about 50%. Intimidating Shout now coming out there uh, from Colart, uh, but not that effective. Yeah, you can see still just trying to pull away, and I feel bad for Barbarous trying to hit a target with freedom as a warrior when you're slowed by Piercing Howl. Must be so frustrating. Dreams at 75% mana, Glyptic at a little bit lower, 57%. Looks like a full scatter trap may land on a Dreams here, and now Colart's certainly in a lot of trouble. He does catch a Wog for a little bit of health. And does he have any other defensive cooldowns? I uh, believe? No, but I mean, he does have the freedom. He's kiting out of there. It looks like he's going to be fine. Actually, a monkey stun uh, on there, onto Dreams. And uh, there's the Hex onto Gmo. So there's going to be a lot of trouble here for Kolar. Both his teammates are CC. Dreams now out of that CC. He's trying to get that uh, the healing out. He's trying to top him off. Uh, we can see that he's just throwing hamstrings right now onto Gmo. just trying to keep him away uh, and just trying to get as much damage out as possible. We even have Sunders up on Kolar, who's down about 20% HP. He's into kill shot and XC range. He's in a full throwdown. I think he might just go down here. Uh, he catches a big NS, though, from Dreams that is going to keep him alive and uh, we can see that Barbaros is actually kind of in an awkward position. He's at 30% and he has to get out of there. Yeah, he's probably going to have to use his rage, enrage regen at this point. He has not yet. He went down to 7%. Gets picked back up, but Kolar's still at 21% in a little bit of trouble. Has Link gone out? I don't know. There was an intervene back just trying to reduce all pressure. He's going to have to kite away. Give him a oh, freedom to get out. Oh, there's the full scatter out. trap on Dreams once again, though. Kolar may go down here. He's down at 28% HP. He's imp Hamstrom catches the wog, though, from Gmos, and that's going to keep him alive as he does Blade Storm out of there. Uh, we can see a lot of damage is trying to be put into here uh, onto Kolar. We can see Barbaros is actually uh, just charging around just trying to slow them down, keep those debuffs up, keep his hunter alive. Uh, Glyptic is behind on mana, but I mean, it seems like there's definitely more pressure coming out uh, from this KFC. Yeah, our Red Paladin is going to be hit now. And are those wings, we're going to see some big damage coming out from him in just a moment. Mana-wise, both teams at about the same. Brain Deadly down to 50% health. He does disengage away. Still in a little bit of trouble. This warrior is being hit, unable to hit his target. He is going to get over to him now, but... Will he be able to actually land a kill every single time Brain Deadly just gets away? They might just want to swap over onto the Warrior, which is what they're doing now. There's no Earth Shield on him yet. It does get applied at this point, but he's already at 55% health. And there's a scatter onto Dreams. He does get out. But he's he's down go at 30%, the man. Uh, Barbaros is in actually a lot of trouble, and he has to get out of there because he's down at 25%, 10% HP, catches a big heal, intervenes out. Uh, but I don't know if he, he's going to be okay or not. Uh, Colart is going to be taking quite a bit of damage here as well. Uh, as Barbaros does get top back off, he's going to swap back over onto Gmos, it looks like. Uh, but Colart just going to charge right back in there, keep the damage going uh, onto Brain Deadly, or at least he's trying to. Uh, we can see Dreams has fallen a bit behind now, and man, I think that Glyptic was able to get a little bit of a, a drink off there, uh, but I mean, they're just kind of resetting now. They're kind of sitting back behind the pillar. It looks like uh, Barbaros may want to go onto the Shaman, but he is going to be peeled off immediately by Colart. And both the Red Paladin and the Warrior are coming over here. Uh, we can see that there's a full throwdown onto Colart. I think he's actually going to trinket that because uh, we can see that Brain Deadly was just teeing off on him. 
Yeah, he is down to about 50% now. Now down to 40, doing so much pressure onto this warrior. Will they actually be able to land a kill here? He's at 25%. He's going to be taking so much damage. Kill shots will be coming in, and he could just flop. You need to be able to peel for your shaman. Allow him to cast those heals. There's actually a bleed up on that shaman, so he cannot be trapped now. That's not good at all for this, this hunter team. But look at that warrior down to 5%. He does get picked back up a little bit. Still trying to cut away 1%, and he will end up falling. Oh, the link going down just a little bit too late there from Dreams. Unable to top his teammate back off. And we can see uh, that the first game will go to Barbarous, Brain Deadly, and Glyptic, but maybe uh, not as convincing as, as what they thought it would be. I mean, we, we saw that Barbarous was at, like, what? Like